Controversial opinion, but if you have a token white and you're hanging out. Wait a second here. Where the hell are they get this? I'm the token white guy now. The token white guy. Oh, YouTube, like totally going to grab a dube and like blaze it up, bruh. Oh, you got to check out these, uh, these, you know, these peach, peaches and cream infused with uh, HHC. The pre-rolls are like, you know, two grams of like hemp. Oh, dude, like 400 milligrams of HHC. The premium quality, dude. Oh, uplifting, bruh. Oh, yeah. Figure out where TikTok's getting all this information. Let's take a gander. This is Sharon Marie Chester. Hey, Sharon. Licensed clinical social worker and racially literate white person. I, want I didn't know that was a degree, racially literate white person. She's a social worker. Let's be a counselor, right? Help people get along. To talk today about who a racist is. Okay, let's hear it. And what racist is. What is it? So, starting out, let's make this easy. All easy like your mom. <laughs> white people are conditioned to be racist. And that's not white people's faults. That is society's faults. Controversial opinion, but society conditions people. They do. It is what it is. Half the time, people are just naturally like that, but the other half is society encouraging it. From birth. Wait a second here. I was adopted by a black family, grew up in a black neighborhood. Does that make me a racist and I just don't know it yet? It is our no, it does not. It is our conditioning. If you are okay. not actually dismantling racism, if you're not going to pull people up from the bottom of the pyramid to the top, mm -hmm. then you are participating and benefiting from racism. Let me get this right. The diversity hires, the getting into colleges because of the color of your skin, that's not enough. I got to pull people up from the bottom. I got to give them my stuff. I think that's how this works. All white people are racist. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. All white people are racist. Michael, you better come look at this. What? There's a white man standing in the street. I've seen one. Not like this. Hey, you cotton picking Edward cunts. Down there in one more. Tell the police mother. to get up here quick. Somebody's about to get killed. I am so sick and tired of it, dude. It's like, and it's, I'm not complaining to a point. But at the same time, it's like, okay, if you want racial and gender equality and all this equality, then if you're straight, white, cisgendered, and male, and you make comments towards the other side, you're seen as a racist, a sexist, a homophobic, a transphobic, etc. But they make comments about you based off of what you have going on, and it's perfectly accepted in our society. It's hypocritical as shit. Side note, <coughs> Kanye West, divorce court. Damn, dude. Now I gotta pay Kim K child support, cuz. <whistles> With Kanye West doing his mental bullshit, there's only so much a woman can put up with. So, because of the fucking douchery that Kanye West has been doing. It's, it's kind of karma, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, not trying to be that guy, but it's like Kanye West basically supports Hitler. 
And uh, it's like, you realize Adolf Hitler killed a bunch of black people and Jewish people? So for, like, Kanye West to be going off on Jewish people like that is just like, wow, dude. Considering all the oppression that black people have had to face, you think Kanye West would be going... Hey, you know what? It'd look, make me look really stupid if I went and did this thing to these group of people over here who have also had to face oppression. Now Kanye West is probably going, fuck, what am I going to do? You owe Kim K child support money, dog. And uh, people are getting sick of Kanye's shit. They're like... <sighs> Some medication, some education, those might be the two things that will help Kanye West with his issues. Some medical marijuana and some uh, edumacation. Now, can you blame black individuals for thinking all white people are racist? Yes and no. No, because they've had to face all that oppression for so goddamn long. And yes, because not all white people are fucking racist. Uncomfortable elephant in the room, I know. Could you imagine, though, if you tried throwing a black person's black stereotypes in their face and you were white as shit? You'd be labeled a fucking racist. You'd be proving that stereotype right by saying... Oh, hey, look, all white people are racist. Just And it's like, here's the bitch about racism, dog. Racism exists in every fucking race. I mean, you look at Barack Obama. He's half black and half white. So it's like both sides coming together like, fuck racism, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's 2022, and we still got these people who are just at each other's throats verbally, mentally, and physically because of all this nasty society condition, conditioning us. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it has to do with the environment you're raised in, who you are as a person, and how the society we live in conditions people. I put this up because I... Now, this woman, if you haven't seen her before, it's a great one. YouTube scrubbed it off the interwebs. She just basically is coming into a group of white women, primarily, and tell them they're all racist. And if you haven't noticed, they're the PayPal me after she tells the people they're all scumbags. I really want any white person in the room to know up front that this is what we're dealing with, that it's not going to be this coddling of white tears right. and what that looks like. We're white tears. So when white people start crying because they get a little bit of oppression, not the full package that black people have had to go through, but just a little bit, and they cry about it. They call that white tears. And I fully agree with calling it white tears. At the same time, it's like, can we just end the oppression? As long as you're not a sicko or an inhuman, racist, sexist piece of shit, or an abusive fucking retarded scumbag. Who fucking cares outside of that? Gonna discuss how oh, maybe some of us have worked it out. No, you're always gonna be racist, actually. So even <laughs> when you're on your path to try So we're always gonna be racist. There's no chance for redemption. And it's like Okay, but then if we try to redeem ourselves as people, we get told it's not good enough or this isn't your fight and you're a racist for trying. And if we don't try, we're, you know what I'm saying? It's frustrating, dude. And you're not a racist. How does that make you one? I don't get that. Because I hate racism and sexism. Segregating people just because of your gender or your race is fucking stupid. And yet in today's society, it's only gotten worse. 
now it's become this thing about blacks versus whites, gays versus straights, cisgendered versus non-binary and trans people. And everyone in that general categorizations, they all want equality, they all want to be accepted in society, and they all want to be treated as equals. But is it about equality or is it about having more privilege while playing the victim? You know what I'm saying?